And we're back. This is Minding Your Business with Chris Spiker. I'm Barry Goldstein. We are here with our second guest, Tara Silva from Bloom Factory. Hey, Tara. Welcome. Hi. Thank you for having me. Hey, and thank you for being a member of the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, thank you. We're, we were a member a few years back, and then we stopped, and now we're back again. We need that networking. Things happen. You know, and I would think Balloon Factory doesn't need any networking because every don't people say everybody knows you and you got a great location and you've been in business for 27, 30 years and no? No, you run into those people, oh I've never heard you. Oh, we didn't know you were here. You run into those I get goosebumps because I think there's so many people that know us, but yet people haven't discovered us. That's right. When you're driving down Avenue J, Date, Elm, slow down, get into the turn lane. Come on in and just check out the Balloon Factory. It is a cool store. Thank you. Yes, it is. We like it. <laughs> you and your family have put your heart and soul into it. We have. So yeah. you've got balloons. We do balloon, balloon decorating, balloon bouquets. Um, we you deliver? deliver. Yes. Oh. We do deliver. Yeah. So that is a plus. A lot of people don't like to put the balloons in their car and drive what? with them. You can't put a balloon in a box and ship it? You can't. You, you can't. <laughs> and they open it up and they all float and no, they go, Happy they, birthday. they are going to pop in the box and you're going to have ribbons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not going to have a happy customer. Can I show you what the ribbons look like? No, I've seen them. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so what are the uh, what are the reasons that people do balloons? Um, we do a lot of balloons for birthdays, ma mainly birthdays, um, baby showers, congratulation bouquets, graduations are coming up. Gra graduations is a huge time for us really busy during that time. A lot of school decorating, school dances. Um, do people do like they do at the flower shop? They just walk in and this is what they want? Yes, you can walk in, you can customize your own bouquet, pick a mylar. We have over 1,500 mylars in the store to choose from. Different, different types. type types, all different occasions. We have 70 balloon colors. Sympathy so balloons? Um, there is, yes. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. And how many birthday balloons, mylars? Oh, hundreds. Wow. <laughs> Hundreds of birthdays. Wow. And did you say candy? Um, well, we have weights that we attach to that are candy. So you can put candy on the bottom. So we don't do any chocolates or anything like that. It's mainly hard candy. Well, being the, flower, the florist, I really enjoy having you right down the street because I'm sure we send somebody down there at least once a month. Oh, we send them right back to you too. Yeah. yeah. Do you do? Uh, you know. Yep. <laughs> and I learned a long time ago, I mean, balloons are a specialty. It's just not everybody with a tank can do it. No. You, it takes time. It, there's a lot of labor involved in it, getting them right. We're, plus, we're perfection. We need to, it needs to be perfect. <laughs> I've, I've watched you working and I go, I couldn't do that. Yeah. I just could not do that. I'm glad there's somebody who can do it. So contact information for Balloon Factory. Um, we are located in Lancaster. We are on Avenue J. Our address is 643 West Avenue J. Um, we are open Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Saturday is 9 to 3. And we are closed on Sundays. What do I hear about a helium shortage? There is a helium shortage. Um, right now, we're, we're good. We have all our helium. We are still renting our helium tanks and filling balloons. But there are a lot of stores in the Yellow Valley who have no helium. It's a naturally occurring it, element. It, it is a global, there's a lot of places that don't have helium. I, I hear they found it on the moon. <laughs> no, I just made that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it? So you could send a tank up there and fill it and bring, bring it, back. it back yeah wouldn't be very cost effective no I don't think so <laughs> um, biggest misconceptions about balloon factory Ooh, I'd like to know what that is is that because we are a family-owned smaller shop that we cost way too much and that is not the case we are very competitive in our prices we are the big box stores we're right in line with them so you can actually will save money coming to us some things. Well, let, let me wrap my head around that. Because you're family owned, you're charging too much. That's what people think. Versus the corporations who are heartless and they don't charge enough. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord. Wow. So, yep. So we're right there. You can walk into a box store and, and you would actually, if you came to us, you, you would save money. So. Yeah, and you might be able to, since you've been doing it for a few years and you're a specialist in it, you might be able to tell them something they're not going to hear, like Bob's going to come in and want to rent a tank of CO2 to mm -hmm. float balloons and We're going to tell him that is not going to work. Now, would a big box do that? <laughs> would they rent him a tank of the wrong stuff? They possibly, they might. <laughs> so. How did you decide to get into balloons? Um, you know, my, my parents bought the balloon factory when I was 12. And it just just came naturally to me. I just 
kept doing it and never left. I'm still here. <laughs> Are you having fun? I am. Yeah. That's important. So I love working with my family. I mean, there, you know, there are those moments, but. <laughs> yeah, that's because then you go home and there they are again. Oh, uh, well, we go to separate homes, so ah. we're good. <laughs> I was delivering flowers one time, and I must have been in front of your house because there were like five balloon factory cars out in front of this house. It was either mine or my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. you got the fleet. Yeah. What I would do is I'd only had one truck, but I would change the numbers on it. On the side by the driver, I'd put a number three or number nine. So when I'm out in number nine, they go, wow. Then the next time they see me, I'm in number three. <laughs> you just wash it and then they think it's you got a new vehicle. Got a lot of them, right? So how do you promote Balloon Factory? Um, right now we promote it through Facebook. A lot of our advertising is done through Facebook. So, and just word of mouth, we're hoping people will talk about us and, and send new customers to us. Do they every once in a while go, Oh, Tara, I just love what you did for the party. Here's some pictures. I do. I have a lot yep. of customers that send us pictures. Yep. So I've seen you on Facebook. Reviews. What a great business that we're in, that we have something that we produce that is photo photographable. Yes, definitely. So. Mm -hmm. so Chamber of Commerce, all the chambers are just Lancaster? Just Lancaster. Yeah, because, you know, if you want to go to the lunches, I mean, there's an hour and a half or two hours out of the store. Right. In the middle of the day. I'm driving around the Antelope Valley with all this traffic. <laughs> a lot of traffic. Yes. Are you delivering uh, balloons every day? We do. We deliver every day. Mm -hmm. Well, I try not to deliver on Sundays. Sundays is our day. Day of rest. Mm -hmm. What percentage of your business is uh, setting up for venues versus a, a bouquet of balloons or a um i would say it's a good 70 30, 70 percent people coming in doing balloon bouquets more walk-in the other 30 percent is doing like decorating walk in walk out mm -hmm. that's great mm -hmm. uh any secret for like how to deliver balloons in the wind i'm still trying to figure that one out you just gotta bundle them up and hold them hold, hold them, them tight hold them tight because they can braid if there's like four balloons <laughs> they can braid, man. <laughs> it's crazy business. Mm -hmm. And of course, you only use string. You don't use any mylar. No, ribbon. no mylar. No mylar. Because that's yeah. what causes the, the power outages yeah. from the electrical lines. Yeah, you're not supposed to let go of any balloons. Does it worry you that there may be a helium shortage? I guess that would be the day it, that it, it does. Yeah. yeah, it's stressful. So right now we're still getting our supply and everything's coming in okay for us. Um, my dad, he's good at planning and he's he's pl planned for it it's been going on for about 10 years but right now it's really tough they're just we don't know what the problem is a lot of plant shut down or something we're not quite sure why we're not getting it <laughs> so who else is in the business your dad yourself and my mom and your mom mm -hmm. and occasionally make a husband do a delivery or a brother will come by and help yeah because you have you have big gigs mm -hmm. I mean, you have vans involved and hours of setup and all the stands and the tanks and mm -hmm. the we just work extra hard. Uh, yeah, that's the muscles. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> but isn't that kind of fun? You get to do a lot of different things. You don't have two days that are the same. No, never two days that are the same. So tell me some know. of the weirdest things you've ever, the, the, the weirdest gigs you've done. Oh, the there been a few, they always ask me. I go, ah, every day's weird, you know. But the most memorable. I don't know if it's the weirdest, but the most memorable is when. I was actually pregnant with my daughter, so I was due on September, well she was due, she was born on September 14th, but on September 10th we were building 100 foot arches out on Lancaster Boulevard for the Walk of Honor that they used to do when they did them along the boulevard. Yeah. So. But you weren't 100 feet off the ground. No, 100 foot length arches along every intersection. Yeah. So four days later, then I had a baby. Wow. <laughs> so. Could 100 feet of balloons pull you off the ground? No. No. That's 102 feet though possibly yeah. yeah then you might have a problem whenever i see balloons i always think of you uh, it's just uh, amazing what you do well, thank and you you must uh, be friends with uh, all the artistic directors and all the buying agents around town i try how have you made those contacts oh uh, just phone call they really don't have an answer for that one. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> almost done pr a proprietary lot. information. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> I, I think you've probably, you have made a name for yourself and uh, don't want to stop now. No. People no. haven't discovered you. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Yeah, there's a, there are a lot of people who are moving into the Antelope Valley and they come in and they say, oh, we didn't know you were here. So. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, one time I thought, well, gee, if I put a store on every corner. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. One store is enough, isn't it? It is definitely uh, good enough. We used to have two. <coughs> it was a lot of work. <laughs> so drive back and forth. So what are mm -hmm. the advantages of having a storefront? Oh, just the contact with people, just being able to interact with them in person. And so having them come in, meet with them face to face. They know we're not going anywhere. They know we're going to show up for their event. Yeah, and probably they have, they're working with somebody who said, oh yeah, I used them, or I had them come into mine, and mm -hmm. it was fun, and it was good. Uh, any secret for getting uh, balloons to stay in the middle of a pool on a windy day? No, I have no secrets for that. <laughs> it's not <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> I thought I was going to learn something. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> favorite color? My favorite color is pink. Yeah, and that's where we get most of our balloons. We get them from you. Yes. Because we just need a handful every once in a while, mm -hmm. and it's just really convenient. And yep, you send your driver by and pick up a bag. We can do that. Mm -hmm. Keeps the money in the family. Yes. Anything that can stay in the valley, I think, is a good thing. Well, I believe I believe that too. Money gets spent here; it stays here. It's yes. a good day. Yes. Then you can afford to do stuff. Yeah. And that's why you have to charge a reasonable price. Do you give anything away? We do. Wow. Yes, we do. We we do do a lot of donations. So we try to space them out, and we have you. They need to submit something, and we need, and then it needs to be approved and go from there. So can't do them all. No. But we try. Can't always do it today. Yeah. Could you maybe think ahead a little bit when you're asking me for something? Yeah. You know? <laughs> so. Well, Tara, it's been fun talking with you. Well, thank you for having me. Balloon Factory 643. 643 West Avenue J, right between Tenth Date. Yeah, right yeah. on the corner of Date. Date and Elm. So mm -hmm. slow by, go by, check it out. Please. Thanks for being on the show. Okay, thank you. You bet.